Okay, my name is John Shakespeare. Uh, I'm an employment advisor and I work for a company called BITA Pathways, which is a mental health charity in Birmingham. I work with people who are recovering from mental ill health and uh, have been interested in working. They work actually in the workshop at work doing sort of menial jobs and my role is to then prepare them for work in the real world uh, and get them interested in uh, particularly in training and so forth to advance themselves so they're able to work. As a young boy, as about 13 year old, I worked for the local butcher riding the bike around and delivering orders in the, with a basket on the front of the bike and that sort of thing. And it was, I suppose, a little laziness on my part when I was 16 that I just wanted to move onwards in that particular trade. I was particularly interested at the time, although I didn't recognise it, in customer service and dealing with people. And that was my main motivation, I think, was the, the people thing, the uh, talking to ordinary people and mixing with people and enjoying different people's company and ideas and so forth. My father was in the building trade and uh, was never ever ambitious, never saw any f moving forward as part of his life. Uh, but he I guess, sort of wanted to live his life through me and through my advancement. He wanted me to join, join him in the building business, but on the more uh, technical side, perhaps architecture or that sort of thing. And I rebelled about this and stayed in the meat trade because I thought, I'm not going to do what he wants me to do, I'm going to do what I want to do. So that was my motivation. Apparently, uh, and I can only believe what the medical men said, it was because I smoked and it caused, uh, it caused a problem with uh, blood circulation. So I lost my left leg in uh, 1973, four, something like that. And about 10 years later, I lost my right leg as well. So by the time I was uh, 30 odd or approaching 40, I was in real trouble then. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, that again provided opportunities which I hadn't seen before. Uh, I knew nothing about computers and thought I'd better learn about computers because this is a growing thing, the, the, the way the country's going. And I was really, really impressed at my student colleagues who would not normally achieve under the academic system in this country, were really achieving uh, doing NVQs. So I decided to get involved in NVQs. I then got involved in training and development and became an NVQ assessor and internal and external verifier, working for awarding bodies. That then sort of spun off because of the uh, amount of advice that you were giving to learners into advice and guidance. And it was the advice and guidance that got me involved in the mental health service. For some time I did, working for the same company I'm working for now, uh, I was paid by uh, employment services uh, to work in job centres once a week, advising people who were long time in, unemployed. Uh, and I always remember I had a young, uh, a young woman in her early 20s and she wanted to be a midwife. Uh, she hadn't got the proper qualification. She, she was really despairing and she couldn't move forward and we found a way for her to move forward and now she's a trainer midwife and she's my real big achievement, she is. I was born in an inner city area of Birmingham uh, just after the Second World War. Uh, we lived in a, in a slum uh, with gas lights, no electricity, no bathroom, this sort of thing. And it was, I guess, my main impetus has been to see the way the country has developed since the Second World War and we've moved forward. And I can see the way that people like, me, like myself have moved forward and there's no reason why people now cannot move forward as well. So that's, I guess, the big, the big impetus.